here. I'm going to review the audiobook Keep Quiet by Lisa Scottellini. It is narrated by Ron Livingston and I'm not sure if you recognize Ron Livingston or not but he's pretty popular in the world of acting. He's been in a couple comedies and some other things but I think if you google him you'll know who he is. And I only point that out because this is the first narrator that I've listened to that I actually recognized who they were. Um, so I found that pretty interesting. And also this is my first time listening to anything or even reading anything by Lisa Scottellini. So this was a fun experience. Um, I, I liked it more than I thought I would to be honest. I didn't know what to expect. It wasn't really high on my list but I figured I might as well get it done and knock it out. And since I had receive this um, in the form of a CD. It will be easy to listen to in the car. So that's what I did. I only listened to this to and from work in the car because I don't have a CD player anywhere else anymore but in my car. And um, yeah, it was a good listen. I gotta tell you guys, it did kind of start a little bit slow, but once the major event happens, things pick up from there. Um, if you read the synopsis, which I'll have listed below, um, it's not really a spoiler, but Ryan, who is the son, he does something that causes, it's basically an accident. And his father, Jake, takes it upon himself as the father to protect his son. And because he did that, without consulting his wife, he just made a split decision. And after making that decision, their lives pretty much fall apart. All of their lives. Um, his wife, Pam, himself, and his son. His son is so distraught about what he did, it's like he can't even function. And this kid gets worse and worse and worse throughout the whole book. And in the meantime, the father, Jake, is dealing with these, the fallout of having to lie to his wife, lie to the cops, lie to everyone he knows. It's just like this big cluster and it's just the worst thing ever. And it's like, it's funny because when you get to the end of the book and you find out the little twist at the end, you're like, wow really <laughs> all of that and this is what happens you know it's kind of crazy but um the characters are really good um the only thing that was my main complaint from the point of the the standpoint of the characters and which tied in with the narrator was ryan he is 16 years old his character is the most whiny angsty 16 year old you could imagine and He's like obviously a junior going into his junior year I believe um, in high school and Ron Silverman Livingston sorry oh my god Ooh. Ron Livingston um, has this guy's voice so annoying it sounds like a 16 year old squeaking like he had barely <laughs> you know that you know what I mean that that point where the voice starts to squeak and croak and it's not really a manly voice but it's not really a child's voice anymore and when and when Jake gets really upset and he's crying or he's like yelling at his parents it has this ear mind numbing voice this like white noise you almost just want to plug your ears and just like oh my god hurry up and get this over with it was horrible that was my main problem with like as far as the characters and um Ron's interpretation of the characters while yes the little kid had the little boy had you know valid reason to be upset and crying I just couldn't take the voice um even as I listened to this further I still oh my god every time this kid started moaning or groaning or complaining or crying or oh it was just too much that was my main problem but everything else with the narration was fine he did jake well he did pam well he um overall he did a good job it was just brian oh god that poor character that character <laughs> if you listen to it you will know what i mean and you've got to tell me if you feel the same thing i do but anyway so it was a it was a good book it was fast it was easy to listen to i didn't have to rewind anything I could listen to this and drive and not, you know, lose parts of the story and all of that. So I would recommend it. I really do. It's definitely a mystery. I'm not sure if it's a thriller. Maybe. I guess it could be borderline thriller. Um, there's a lot of adult situations going on in this book. So clearly this is for adults. There is um, infidelity. There's blackmail 
murder, um, underage things going on with grown-ups. There are some serious subjects in here, but it's entertaining overall. And I do recommend it. Um, what would I rate Keep Quiet? I would rate it four bookmarks out of five. It wasn't perfect. Um, like I said, it had a little bit of a slow start and the voice of Ryan just was nails on a chalkboard for me. But outside of that, it was near perfect. Um, and I will read more by Lisa Scottolini. I actually have a book of hers on my shelf that I, it's in my TBR jar draws. Sorry, it's in my TBR jar. So hopefully I'll be able to get to that um, sooner than later. Who knows? It depends on how the luck of the draw goes. But when I do get to it, I look forward to reading it because I did enjoy Keep Quiet. So hopefully I'll enjoy the other book I have by her. So yeah, you guys, have you read Keep Quiet or listened to it on audio? If so, please let me know what you thought about it. And if you haven't read this book, if you've read other books by Lisa Scottolini that you enjoyed, please do share it with me. I would love to get some recommendations um, from this author because I do intend to read or listen to more from her. So you guys know where to find me, all the usual places, and that's it for today. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, happy reading. Thanks guys. Bye.